Hello and welcome again to the RCSI Virtual Open Day. My name is Dr Declan Gaynor and I'm the Academic Director of Admissions and I also teach chemistry in the foundation year of the six year medical program. I will now briefly explain to you some key aspects of the medical programs at RCSI Bahrain. When discussing the RCSI medical program, a great place to start is our medical graduate profile, which is a statement that outlines the attributes, skills and competencies which our graduates will possess upon completing the programme. First and foremost, our graduates will have the capacity to be lifelong learners capable of the scholarship needed to successfully progress in their future careers. Additionally, all students and graduates are expected to consistently demonstrate professional attitudes and behaviour. Excellent communication skills and collaboration skills are essential for any medical practitioner and these form two core sections of our medical graduate profile. Equally, we recognise the importance of empowering our students and graduates with leadership skills which are developed throughout the duration of the programme. And finally, the international nature of our student body at RCSI also means that we have a particular focus on developing global practitioners who have the necessary level of preparation for working in many different cultural environments around the world. There are three different entry points to the School of Medicine at RCSI Bahrain, depending on the applicant's academic record and level of achievement. The MCP, a one-year programme, is the point of entry for applicants who require additional time to bring their language proficiency or science subject exposure up to the required levels. Applicants can also enter the medical programme at foundation year, which is considered the first year of the six year medical programme. The third entry point into the medical programme is year one, which accommodates direct entry students with high levels of academic achievement and in international qualifications like the A-levels and the International Baccalaureate as well as graduates of science and biomedical science degrees. The MCP comprises 12 modules delivered over two semesters, including biology, chemistry, physics, third level learning and medical terminology. Teaching methods vary according to the requirements of each module, but typically include lectures, tutorials, laboratory practicals, individual projects, group work and self-directed learning with all contact teaching being delivered to a small class size. Foundation Year provides students with a solid grounding in the biomedical sciences and professionalism, as well as the necessary IT skills to operate efficiently within the college's virtual learning environment. The course is delivered as a series of standalone five credit modules taught in a single semester and 10, 10 credit integrated systems based modules delivered across two semesters. Students encounter a blended approach to teaching and learning with lectures and tutorials, small group teaching, laboratory practicals and elective project based work all fe featuring prominently. Tutorials serve to re reinforce and enhance students understanding of the fundamental concepts covered in lectures and test basic understanding through applied problems in a practical context. Elective opportunities facilitate students growing awareness of the crucial roles that communication, culture, collaboration, critical thinking, medical ethics and self-reflection play in the professional practice of medicine. In the five year medical program in year one, students learn the anat anatomical, molecular and biochemical basis of human life the principles of pharmacology and acquire a basic understanding of the epidemiology and mechanisms of disease. In the second semester, there is a focus on the cardiovascular and respiratory systems as students work collaboratively in small group activities on six different clinical cases, each spanning a two week period. Throughout the year, students will also develop their communication and clinical skills in small group tutorials. Student choice modules the first of which takes place in year one, will facilitate students' exposure to various social and environmental experiences that will enable the formation of their professional identity. During this year, students encounter a wide variety of learning events, including interactive lectures, small group case-based tutorials, large group tutorials, seminars, anatomy practicals, and project work. 
Year two of the medicine program continues to integrate teaching and learning around systems and case studies in hematology, gastrointestinal, renal, endocrine and central nervous systems. Learning activities include interactive lectures, tutorials, clinical microbiology and pathology cases, anatomy practicals, workshops, multidisciplinary teaching sessions and facilitated team based learning. In semester two, there is also a module specifically focused on preparing students to enter the clinical environment. During year three, the class will be divided into separate groupings and undertake the prescribed modules at different timings throughout the year. Students build on the knowledge and understanding acquired during years one and two and have the opportunity to apply this knowledge to real patients in multidisciplinary clinical settings during their clinical placements, which are completed in our affiliated teaching hospitals around Bahrain. In the New Horizons and Simulation model, students engage with a variety of new technologies in the clinical domain, including genomics and novel imaging approaches. Year three is also when our students complete a research or clinical audit project, which forms the basis of the student selected project and is undertaken in RCSI or at an RCSI affiliated hospital or even overseas. Year four modules will provide students with wide ranging clinical exposure running in parallel with an integrated teaching and learning program that focuses on knowledge and skills in areas including clinical competence, professionalism and communication. Students will practice their clinical skills and take an active part in the care pathway of individual patients while they continue to be attached to clinical teams at RCSI affiliated teaching hospitals located throughout Bahrain on a rotational basis for seven weeks in the specialties of obstetrics and gynaecology, family medicine, psychiatry and paediatrics. During the final year, students will be attached to clinical teams in the disciplines of medicine and surgery at local, national and international hospitals. Of particular interest during year five is the sub-internship program. This offers students the opportunity to function as a member of a clinical team in preparation for internship or residency following graduation. Preparation for clinical teaching starts early in the medical program. From year one onwards, our students get the opportunity to develop their professional communication and clinical skills within the safe environment of the university campus, and in particular, our clinical simulation center, which is equipped with cutting edge high fidelity mannequins. When they are ready, students then transition to developing these skills in the national network of community health centers and the three main public hospitals in Bahrain, the King Hamad University Hospital, the Salmania Medical Complex and the BDF Hospital. While on clinical placements, our students participate in ward rounds, case presentations and clinician led bedside and theatre sessions. Throughout the programme, there are elective projects and clinical experiences which will help prepare our graduates for internship and residency training. These components of the curriculum are extremely valuable as they allow our students to broaden their experience according to their own preferences or goals. Students very often choose to, com to complete their electives in institutions located in their home country, allowing them to start building a network before proceeding to training opportunities after graduation. Thank you for your attention and I look forward to speaking to you all later today in our online question and answer session.